In our next example on how to calculate the change in the entropy when heat is being exchanged, we take an example where you have one kilogram of water which starts at zero degrees centigrade and gets heated by some fire like a candle until it reaches 100 degrees centigrade. And since the change in temperature is rather large, we're going to, we're going to use the equation here we actually have to integrate. So the change of the entropy is equal to the integral of dq over t. Now, what is dq equal to? Well, dq in this case is going to be equal to nmc uh, dt, the change in the temperature expressed in a differential. C is the specific heat of the water, m is the mass of the water. So when we replace that in our equation, we get delta s is equal to the integral of mc dt over t. Now since m and c are constants, we can move those outside the integral sign. So this is going to be equal to mc times the integral of dt over t. And notice that this is going to start at some initial temperature, t initial, and end up at some final temperature, t final. So we can also put our uh, limits in there in the integration. All right, now what is the integral of dt over t? You should remember that's equal to natural log. So this is equal to m c times the natural log of t evaluated from t initial to t final. So when we plug those limits in, that is equal to mc times, when we plug in the upper limit, we get the natural log of t final minus when we plug in the lower limit, which is natural log of t initial. And of course, using the rules of logarithms, the natural log of t final minus the natural log of t initial can be written as mc times the natural log of the ratio of um, t final divided by t initial. Now notice, if t final is bigger than t initial, the natural log of a number greater than 1, that is positive. But if t final is smaller than t initial, the natural log of a number that's smaller than 1 is negative. All right. So now let's plug in the numbers. The mass is 1 kilogram. C for water is 4,186 joules per kilogram per Kelvin degrees times the natural log of the ratio of the final temperature, and of course there we have to convert that to Kelvin degrees. 100 degrees is 373 Kelvin, and the uh, initial temperature, zero degrees centigrade, is 273 Kelvin. So that would be the ratio of the temperatures. So 373 divided by 273. Take the natural log of that, and then multiply that times 4186. Equals, and we get an entropy change of 1,306 joules per Kelvin, and that will be your delta S. So notice that it's not that difficult by using, when we use this equation right here, um, just remember that the, natural, that the integral of dt over t is a natural log of t, and then just plug in new limits, and there's your answer. So, fairly straightforward, and um, we'll see if we can come up with another example of how to calculate the entropy change.